just like that. Yeah. We are officially in Bosnia. How legal, illegal this is. Don't recommend this with the kids. Border control had them before, screwing up their head. I've been arrested by Bosnian police. Called us back for a photo. We love Montenegro. Albania. Albania. So we have a flight in an hour and a half. Good morning here from Manchester Airport. It's five o'clock, and today we're heading to a new country. This is actually flight number 43 for 2023. Tried to check into the lounge, but they're full and there's a waiting list. It's never ever happened to me anywhere else, but in Manchester, it's the third time it's happened. We're here in Terminal 1. As you can see, it's absolutely packed. Let me show you where to go. Well, it'll be empty. Well, down here is only a minute away from where the previous video was, and it's completely empty. Got the place to myself. Good few hundred seats. I'm heading to a new country today, and potentially I can beat my personal record. I can go to five countries in one day. All right, let's do a transition. Next time you'll see me, I'll be in Montenegro. And just like that, we're here in Montenegro, the second to newest country in the world. As we were landing, we got a really good taste of what this country's like. Absolutely beautiful coastline, mountains. I'm very excited to see more. Oh, and yeah, this airport is absolutely tiny. There's a cat in immigration. Don't think they let him into the country. He's waiting there. Someone's helping him out. Baruch Hashem, we did rent with a different car company because we've been waiting hours. Here we are, Avis. The boys are sorting it out. It, this city, Montenegro, is called Tivat. The first thing which comes to mind is Tivat sausages. No, it's Tival, but yeah. Got a brand new car, doesn't even have number plates on. Apparently, it's okay. We have some documents in there. Today's excitement starts off with taking a car ferry. We're heading to the border of Bosnia and Croatia. And you could take a road around there, but it's a very narrow road, it takes a lot longer. So taking this ferry which cuts through and saves us a lot of time. I think this long ferry journey of two minutes is over because everyone's heading back to their cars. Some busy vlogging whilst driving. Never! Mul multitasking. Just checking the sound nav. <laughs> okay, we've left our car down there because we can't take it over the border, but we're right by Bosnia behind us over there. We're gonna see if they let us walk through. Now, these borders are not gonna be easy because the countries around Montenegro is a lot of conflict and arguments. So let's see what happens. If not, we have other plans. Here it is. Moment of truth. Are they gonna let us into Bosnia? Can we just walk through this car lane or they're going to cause problems? All right, no questions have been asked. And I think I'm about to walk into Bosnia. That's country 63. Oh, yeah. Okay, that was a mistake. We haven't crossed into Bosnia yet. That was just to cross over from Montenegro. And in front of us is the Bosnian border. Let's see what happens. I thought I just heard gunshots on the border. Got a bit scared, but yeah, it's just lightning. Hopefully we don't get caught in a storm. We're walking now in between no man's land, in between Montenegro and Bosnia and Herzegovina. Quite happy I'm not coming by car. Long queue to get in. Moment of truth. This is the actual border. Um, I'm just going to confidently walk through. Let's see if this works. Please Hashem, please Hashem, don't stop me. Yeah, yeah. Just keep walking, keep walking. I think we've done it. Yep. We are officially in Bosnia. All right, just like that. We've got a sign behind us saying goodbye, Montenegro. That means we're in Bosnia. And that's a sign behind us welcoming us to Bosnia. Uh, yeah, the writing there looked a bit Ukrainian. So I normally have a rule that I need to buy a drink in a country to be considered that I've actually been there. So Laws are selling me this for a pound. Oh, you're selling me a Red Bull now. Right, one pound, I'll pay you. Put it on split wise. Yeah, pretty much so. I bought a drink now in Bosnia. We can go back to Montenegro. It's only lunchtime. We've already been to three countries today. England, Montenegro and Bosnia. Let's see if we can get another two. Okay, the border guy now is starting to scream at us. I'm not sure what his problem is. We don't want to like, cross the border. We just want to... Wow, well, he's a bit angry there. He wasn't sure like what on earth we were doing here. But yeah, we told him we just kind of take a photo in Bosnia and he was cool with it. Oh, a bit scary. Tall, big guy. Eastern European style. I asked the border control officer if I can get a stamp in my passport. I think that's where I pushed it. He said, no, no, not allowed. I could not give it to you. Hello, how are you? Hello. You're from Bosnia? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay. Hello. Uh, Serbia. Oh, you're from Serbia. Nice. People here are amazing. Oh, welcome to Bosnia. 
So I'm not sure how legal or illegal this is. We found on Google Maps a cross section between the three countries, Montenegro, Bosnia and Croatia. Um, there's no official border, so we're climbing these mountains here. Um, yeah, just hope there's no landmines, hope there's no police with guns or something. But uh, yeah, it'll be quite cool to get country number four in today. And if we keep going like this, we'll do five countries in one day. Just had a little thought, what we're doing running over borders through mountains and fields. It's like what they had to do in the war. I mean, obviously it's nothing compared. Our life's not a danger, but just that feeling of just uh, not knowing what's coming next. I mean, as I say, it's only like a 1% of what they went through. But um, yeah, my grandmother escaped hungry. Literally no jokes, looking on Google Maps, I am standing on the border. This thin one foot stone wall is the border. You've all heard of the Great Wall of China, but probably most of you haven't heard of the Great Wall between Bosnia and Croatia, Montenegro. Yeah, don't recommend this with kids. Don't re recommend this at all, actually. Absolute dripping in sweat. They don't need any border control. It's just impossible to climb this. Gosh, literally, literally rock climbing this. Okay, no jokes, I've just heard the border control guy from before just screaming up here. Do I go further, do I go back? Ah. Oh. Okay, I'm not giving up, I'm not going back now. We're only a few meters away from Croatia. Um, this, this is scary. Feels like I'm running away from an enemy trying to whisper so they can't hear us. Well, we've crossed the border and we're in Croatia. Not my first time here, second time, but this is the first time for 2023. This is no difference to jumping on a lorry and crossing the Euro Channel to get into England. Harrison, here we have just crossed the border into Croatia from Montenegro. Tell me, is this the first time you're crossing a border illegally? I know how it feels now. I've been to Eng from England to Scotland, from England to Wales, but this is real. This is a real country we to country. Trouble. Have you told your wife you're illegally crossing borders today? If I would have known when I was waking up this morning I'd be crossing over illegally into Croatia, I probably would have told her, call this number if you don't hear back from me <laughs> in 24 hours. All right, now we have the serious climb down and probably going to be faced by some an angry border control guy. escorted by the police down haven't really been vlogging because I'm uh don't want him to see I've got a camera he could ch check my footage and stuff uh, but he's very chilled he's been very friendly I hate making excuses but the shoes I'm wearing are completely not appropriate I've got cold hand trainers shoes I've hurt myself I've just really really hurt my ankle bleeding away ouch don't know why I'm vlogging ah. finally we're on normal terrain I've got a bad cut in my leg, multiple cuts all over my body. I've torn my t-shirt, I've damaged my shoes, I've lost my sunglasses, but these experiences in life don't just come every day. It's been absolutely chaotic. Now let's find out what the board controls verdict for our mischief. All right, I think we have to head into the police car now. Hope we're not getting arrested. All right, first time being arrested by Bosnian police for doing something completely crazy. The border police officer had to literally climb this crazy terrain just to find us. He helped us. He tried to look for my sunglasses. He was like, he saw my leg, it's bleeding. They like, oh no. Super kind, I mean, wow, very unexpected. Normally border control are really rough. Well here, they're pretty kind. We're gonna do a bit of an operation here. Clean the wounds, try and cover it up, stop the bleeding. All right, now it's time to show our passport. Uh, we're gonna get some like black stamp from Bosnia, Montenegro and Croatia. Wow. So in the Balkans, they follow the Jewish state, that's what the police has told us. And he also asked me if I'm Ashkenazi, which, uh, bang on, I am. Literally, Chazdeh Hashem, that this uh, border control guy, new Jews, he was super friendly, he was showing me just a video now, Bibi Netanyahu, saying how the Serbians, which is also sort of in this area, has a good relationship with the Jews. And he's called us back for a photo. We need to get a he wants memories of the crazy guys who tried to climb some rocky mountain to get it over to another country. The best, best, first. Thank you very much. Thank you. Be a good man. Driving down this mountain, insane views of the lake, the mountains, the cars all slowing down just to get a good glimpse of the view. The, then we go to Albania Airport. Now they're all on the way. It's two and a quarter hours to go to Albania Airport. If you'd Google Montenegro, this is what you'd see. These two famous islands down there, one St George and one the Church of Madonna or something. But no idea why. I don't think it's got to do with the single Madonna. 
But yeah, it's a beautiful spot by the lake, mountains, islands, boats. If we're here longer, we'll take a boat, but yeah, we're just gonna see it. We're on a tight schedule, we have a flight coming up, but we got a quick Dartera scene over here. It's time to move on and my leg's killing me. Ouch. We happen to pass a pharmacy, so let's see if we can take a look at my leg. Maybe clean it, get some plasters. I think they've got the right equipment here, some cleaning stuff, some gauze, some bandages, plasters. I was expecting to spend like 20 euros, four euros. I got plasters, I got disinfectant spray uh, and some gauze. So yeah, quite cheap Montenegro. Right, this is the first time a Renault Clio was used for an operation. I'm trying to disinfect the leg, trying to clean it, get a plaster on it. This is what happens when you're a content creator. You see a turtle crossing the road, you stop, you quickly try and find it. And uh, I think we've lost it. It won't be a proper visit to a country without checking out the old town. We're here in Budva or something. Um, yeah, I'm, what I'm sensing about Montenegro is that it's very relaxed, not very touristy. People are chilled, not super friendly, but not, you know, somewhere in between. From 1992, Montenegro used to be part of Serbia. It was two countries and they split up in separate countries in 2006. So that makes it the second to newest country in the world. The newest is South Sudan, where North and South Sudan split up. Um, but yes, yeah, so it's a relatively new country, but they definitely have established their style, their theme, and I like it. Yup, this is Old Town vibes, old city wall, got sort of the cobble streets here. I'm really liking this place. If you follow my trips, you know wherever I go, I get a snow globe for my father. Just done that. A bit expensive, seven euro, but yeah, don't have time to shop around. Old towns are always so relaxed, always got a great vibe. Those are restaurants, those are souvenir shops. Not sure exactly what he's playing, but yeah, it's cool. And just to top the vibe, you've got the church bell going off and with some beautiful old fashioned music down there. Old town you shall I am on the way down to the coastal, literally a replica. Hello everyone, we love Montenegro! Hey! And this area, the old city, with all the boats here, looks a bit like, yeah, Monaco. I feel like people are just enjoying life here. Everyone's just got like a little smile on their face. Just enjoy themselves. I mean, how can't you enjoy it? Look at that behind me. Look at that. When you have 30 people queuing up to take pictures, you know you're at a good spot. This is another very, very famous island here. Apparently it's private nowadays and you can't go on it. But yeah, maybe one day we'll buy it. We'll see. Every second another car pulls up to take another photo. And I was just their photographer and then we have to roll. We've been driving around Montenegro the whole day. Right. And there hasn't been one part which has been mediocre. The whole country is just absolutely stunning. The views, you just always see water, you always see mountains, you always see green. It's incredible. Driving through more of the quieter areas narrow roads, old-fashioned houses, farms. Feels like we're in Kerastir here, but we are actually heading towards the Albanian border. Second time today we've seen this sign which says goodbye to Montenegro. So yeah, let's cross this border into Albania, which will be five countries just in one day. All right, we've just been screamed at. We are gonna show our passports. They're standing as if we're a car. Uh, yeah, just gonna wind down the window, give up, yeah. All right, so I've officially left uh, Montenegro now. I'm in no man's land, gonna try and head to Albania. Our flight goes in less than two hours, so we do need to hurry up. There's a huge queue for cars. I hope I can somehow sneak in quickly. And that would be five countries in one day, personal record. We're halfway through the border. We can't really count as Albania yet, so we have to walk a bit further. All right, that was good enough that we've crossed Albania. We crossed the line of the border. Now we have to head back because we have to catch this flight. Where are you from? Where are you I'm from Albania. Albania, hey, hey, we love Albania. Next time I need to come properly. Yes. See ya. All right, we literally have to run now because we have a flight in an hour and a half. My leg is really hurting from earlier on today. But yeah, let's quickly cross the border and get back. That was complete and utter chaos. We went out of Montenegro to go to Albania and we came straight back. And they're like, why did you leave today? If you're just coming back, what's going on here? And they refused and then they started threatening they're gonna do a five hour strip search on us. But yeah, Baruch Hashem, with a bit of uh, Mizmar Soda, a bit of davening, uh, Baruch Hashem, they've let us out. And now we need to literally speed it to the airport. 
Now on 50 minutes of flight, we quickly have to fill up our rental. Which is the best country in the world? That's right. One hour and 10 minutes to take off. We're here in Podgorica, the capital of Montenegro, the main airport, which is still tiny. And yeah, we're heading home. It's been an incredible day here. Tour in Montenegro, definitely, definitely a place I go back to. It's stunning. You're not gonna believe it. I've met a famous vlogger, a famous, famous vlogger. Are you Harrison Kaufman? Hey, listen, you can speak wow, to my agent wow. if you want, but I don't take any heckles on you. Have, I know I've got a nice guy image on my videos, but in real life, can I, I don't want Can I have us up, please? Okay, I'll be nice now. All right. Cheese! Wow, this airport's tiny, completely, completely packed. I'm very glad I didn't come earlier. Don't wanna spend a minute longer than I need to. Yeah, I just want to get on that plane and get home. Pretty much as expected, our flight's maybe delayed at least two and a half hours. It's pot noodle time. Have a bit of supper here. All right, we're supposed to take off an hour and 20 minutes ago, and we're still here in probably one of the worst terminals in the world. There's only one shop, one cafe, and it's boring. Yeah. That's yeah, okay. No, it's not. More serious than we think, yeah. You think eh? you're doing this today? Here in the little hospital in the airport, sorting out my leg. They've done a great job, thank you. They've cleaned it properly, they've bandaged it up properly. Thank you, thank you to you. Meanwhile, my plane has landed. I'm quickly going to go back to the terminal to fetch my case. And yeah, all in good timing, Baruch Hashem. Everyone's already boarded, and I'm going to quickly go. I'm very kindly, Alaz was watching my case. Now we can check in, and yeah, no worry that my leg is going to get infected. Always, always board last because otherwise it'll just make you stand there for hours, sit down, relax. <laughs> Left my house 22 hours ago. Here we are, back in Manchester Airport. We've crossed five borders today. And yeah, our oh, all been amazing, been crazy. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Goodbye.